Hi everyone, the channel Easy Lecture welcomes you. In our previous video, we discussed about Fourier transform. We discussed the problems asked in Anna University semester examination, and also we discussed some of the exercise questions. Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss the Fourier transform of a basic elementary signal, unit step signal. So this is video is going to be very much useful for the beginners. Okay, so and also we are going to find the magnitude and phase of the uh, frequency domain converted unit step signal okay so that these things we are going to find and before entering into the video subscribe my channel easy lecture now let us go for further discussion okay the question is find the Fourier transform of unit step signal u of t okay as a first step we have we are going to apply the formula of Fourier transform that is x of j omega equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t e power minus j omega t dt okay so here this formula it converts a signal which is in time domain into a signal which is in frequency domain and we know the purpose of converting a time domain signal into frequency domain signal and for more clarity you can watch my watch one of my videos uh, by the name digital signal processing made easy in a single video there we have spoken about all the transforms discrete transform discrete Fourier transform um, continuous Fourier transform discrete time Fourier transform Laplace transforms that transform so you can watch that video to have more clarity on this now coming back to this question here in the next step we are replacing the value of x of t by the signal which is a unit step signal and we are very familiar with the unit step signal unit step signal has amplitude 0 in the interval minus infinity to 0 and when t equal to 0 to infinity it has amplitude 1 so this is what unit step signal is we are replacing x of t by unit step signal in the next step okay uh, here we have integration minus infinity to infinity u of t into e power minus j omega t dt and u of t it has it is available only in the range from 0 to infinity and that is why the limit the limit of integration changes from minus infinity to infinity to 0 to infinity because from minus infinity to 0 the value of u of t is 0 and 0 to anything is 0 so we are completely eradicating it we are uh, dropping it completely and in the interval from 0 to infinity the value of u of t is 1 and 1 into e power minus j omega t is can be directly written as e power minus j omega t dt here we have the exponential signal and we know the integration of exponential signal is e power minus j omega t divided by minus j omega here we are integrating with respect to t and that is why this becomes e power minus j omega t in the numerator divided by minus j omega in the denominator okay so the coefficient of the power of exponent of t okay the coefficient of t which is available in the power so e power minus j omega t divided by minus j omega and the limit is 0 to infinity now we have to perform the operation of upper limit minus lower limit we have to substitute upper limit for the value of t we have to find the value then we have to find the value of uh, e power minus j omega t divided by minus j omega replacing t by 0 and then we have to subtract this portion from this portion okay so that is what we are going to do here and when we substitute the upper limit infinity here we have e power minus j omega t and that can be written as e power minus j omega into infinity so that is e power minus infinity e power minus infinity can be written as 1 divided by e power infinity the value of e power infinity is infinity so it becomes 1 divided by infinity that is equal to 0 and for this reason e, this e power minus infinity divided by minus j omega the entire terms becomes 0 and we are completely dropping it okay now let us come to the lower limit we are substituting the lower limit uh, in the place of t we, here we have e power minus j omega e into t into 0 we are replacing t by 0 so here we have e power 0 and e power 0 divided by minus j omega is what we have here okay so e power 0 divided by e power 0 becomes anything power 0 is 1 so e power 0 divided by minus j omega becomes 1 divided by minus j omega already we have minus in this formula so this minus is neutralized by this minus sign and finally we have the Fourier transform of unit step signal as 1 divided by j omega okay the next step is we need we have to find the magnitude okay so it is not necessary uh, in all the questions but sometimes if it is asked 
we can make use of it and uh, it may be knowing this knowing how to find the magnitude and phase uh, will be highly useful for complex problems and that is what we are going to learn here okay now magnitude so magnitude can be found very easily so magnitude of x of j omega is given as modulus of x of j omega and that can be found using the formula square root of real part square plus imaginary part square okay and here in the numerator we have uh, only real part we do not have imaginary part because the Fourier transform of unit step signal is 1 by j omega and in the numerator we have only real part there is no imaginary part so the numerator can be written as square root of 1 square plus 0 square and the denominator can be written as square root of real part square there is no real part so it can be written as 0 plus j omega so the real value is 0 0 square plus imaginary value is omega square okay so this becomes square root of 1 square in the numerator that is 1 and in the denominator we have square root of omega square that is omega so the magnitude of x of j omega is 1 by omega that is what we have got here okay next we have to find the phase okay so to find the phase or angle we use the formula tan inverse of imaginary part divided by real part okay so tan inverse of imaginary divided by real value okay so this is what we are this is the formula that we are going to use now and uh, the Fourier transform of unit step signal is 1 by j omega okay so for numerator it is tan inverse of imaginary part divided by real part okay so imaginary is 0 real is 1 because 1 plus 0 uh, j 0 so it can be written as uh, written like that so here we have tan inverse of 0 divided by 1 and for denominator to write uh, the phase of denominator we are introducing a negative sign here minus tan inverse of imaginary part divided by real part and imaginary is omega and real is 0 because it is j omega can be written as 0 plus j omega so the value of real part is 0 okay so tan inverse of 0 divided by 1 can be written as tan inverse of 0 and 0 can be replaced by tan 0 okay so here this tan and this tan are getting cancelled and we have only 0 degree okay so that means 0 degree minus tan inverse of omega by 0 so anything divided by 0 is infinity so minus tan inverse of infinity this infinity can be written as minus tan inverse of this infinity can be written as tan 90 degree okay and again this tan inverse and tan are getting cancelled or neutralizing each other and finally we have minus 90 degree okay so this is how we must write it is not tan inverse of omega the thing mentioned here is a mistake it is tan inverse of omega by 0 that is equal to minus 90 degree and this minus comes from here comes here okay so it is minus 90 degree this is the uh, phase of the frequency domain transformed unit step signal okay so i hope you have enjoyed you might have enjoyed this video if you have any suggestion kindly leave it in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel share with your friends the video meet you again in another video until then bye thank you